Outstanding. So, uh, before we start, let me explain what I'm actually going to do. Because the category is max ratings, which means that uh, I will be going for the best possible rating in each of the checkpoints. Because this game is not just divided into levels, it also has a bunch of checkpoints like these two. And uh, what the max rating in each checkpoint is depends on the checkpoint. And how I get the different ratings depends on the checkpoint. And then there are some checkpoints where you don't have a rating at all. It's a complete clusterfuck, but we'll deal with it. Also, I'm going to be playing on expert difficulty, which is the highest proper difficulty in the game. A lot of people always ask, like, why don't you play on purist? And I don't play on purist because the only actual difference between expert and purist is that on a purist you cannot see the HUD. And some for some reason that makes some people think that oh you can't use some core mechanics of the game because you can't see the meters for them which is not the case at all well expert is just the better game mode so we'll stick with that anyway i believe we can start i take it i'm i'm the one who has to hit the button correct yes listen to me Ready? Yes, yes. Go. There we go. All right. <laughs> so, welcome to Hitman Absolution. Like I talked about the rating system just now and uh, how I believe with max ratings. This checkpoint doesn't have a rating system active, therefore I will just run past everybody and uh, shoot random people. And get technically the best rating. I know it's the client's call, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. Calling this person open. Nothing too crazy going on in this checkpoint. It's what? basically just teaching you the base controls. The situation has been contained. Consider Whereas this checkpoint much. teaches you how this guy system works, or in case of this game, it kind of does not Clean because. All NPCs who are wearing the Your same clothes as I am are able to see through my disguise fairly easily. Be mindful. Your which is why a lot of people really, really dislike this game. To clear your identity, either Myself you included to some degree. Or find an alternate disguise. Mostly because it tries to be a Hitman game, but uh, it doesn't really succeed. The, the system actually works really well in some cases. Through it's just that whenever you have to assassinate somebody... And infiltrate an area where people don't have any reason to suspect that you are there. It the system doesn't really feel very natural. Sorry. You are now inside the mansion. Your current disguise will be suspicious to the mansion guards. Yeah, I, I care if my disguise is suspicious. All right, in the next checkpoint, I will actually have the rating system active, and I Look will have to be stealthy. The guard disguise gives you, you have removed the I say as I remove the, the silencer from my gun. <laughs> it will monitor your playstyle and reward your progress. You can see it in the top left corner. As always, how you handle your assignment is entirely All right, so stealthy. Good luck. Also, this is a core mechanic of the game. It is, it is instinct. AKA the Temanometer on the bottom right of the screen. By using mana, I can uh, avoid detection by face palming or tipping a fedora or whatever the case may be. Like this. Very stealthy. Also, I need to pick up evidence, which is what I just picked up, in any of the checkpoints that has evidence but does not have a target. Alright, there's nobody here. Great. This whole checkpoint is actually a bit of an exception to the rule on how how ratings work, so we'll not go too deep into that just yet. I'll try to explain how different checkpoints work once we get them. Mostly that one was just like, oh, I kind of have a target because I need to get a key card from that one guy, but I'm not allowed to kill him, so it already kind of breaks the basic rules of the rating system which is wonderful is noisy and makes it easier for your enemies to spot you oh and another thing that i can do with the the manometer 
is Agent I have point shooting. Which is actually a pretty fun mechanic. Note that while you were focused, turn the camera to focus on your enemy. There we go. I'll be using that a few times during the run for some uh, precise shooting. All right. That's the first first mission done, and now we have King of Chinatown. King of Chinatown is the first uh, actual assassination mission, which is only has, only has one checkpoint in it, and the best possible rating is Sound Assassin. Oh, whoops. Let me just restart checkpoint, because that moves me forward a bit. Oh. And uh, in these assassination checkpoints, all I have to do to get the best rating is do not get spotted, and do not kill non-targets. Very simple. Anything else goes. There he, there he is, King of Chinatown. And there's a convenient knife right here. Whoop! There we go. Nothing suspicious here. I just love the fact that you can just throw the knife out so that everybody sees the knife hit him in the head and still get sound assassin. One of my favorite strats in the entire game, still. Even though that was discovered like days after the game came out. Oh yeah, this cutscene is wonderful. There's a, an unedited version of this online lore, like something that they considered doing pre-release where 47 turns into Max Payne and just uh, gets fucked up on whiskey. It's uh, very good shit. All right, Terminus. This is one of the very few glitches in the game. You're talking to me? Yeah. I'm gonna take yeah. cover on, over here Look, upstairs. and then just jump down to the basement by removing myself from cover. There, I just took a small running step to make uh, make this guy walk towards me, so I can get a new disguise. He's not a target that I'm killing him anyway, because this is a uh, how should I describe this? An evidence-based checkpoint, meaning that uh, uh, I am allowed to kill non-targets as long as I hide their bodies, but I'm still not allowed to be spotted. And I must pick up uh, the evidence item that is somewhere in the level. And that gets me the best rating. These are the most typical checkpoints in the games. Uh, most of them include, uh, or most of them are evidence-based, and the second most common are assassination-based. There's the evidence. And then I'll just uh, go back to the basement the same way I got there first time. Just take cover, remove myself from cover, tip the fedora so nobody sees me. There we go. Also, the best uh, rating you can get in these checkpoints is uh, Shadow. There's like, what, four different ratings that can be the best rating depending on the checkpoints. Like, in some cases, it's like Agent or uh, Veteran, I think, in one case. Kind of difficult to tell because uh, all of the ratings in this game sound really similar in terms of like, what's the best one? Is Agent better than Veteran? Where does Shadow rank? But at, at, at some point, people figured out what is kind of the best, or I don't know, maybe that was me who figured it out, I don't know. It's been too long. I know I came up with this category because I wanted to run this game like I would run most other Hitman games. And the uh, systems by default didn't really support that idea. So I kind of had to just make up max ratings. All right, here's the evidence. I'm gonna have to, there we go, very sneaky. If I zoom in, I can uh, like reach a bit further, which allows me to grab items from in front of people like that. Because that guy would have spotted me, because technically he was wearing the same disguise as I am wearing. May not look like it, but uh, all the guards are just guards. And that is pretty much Terminus. Her name is Amazing detail that you can control the lighter. So very useless. Okay, well run for your life. This is actually, unironically, my favorite mission in the game. 
even though it starts the way it does and it might have an assault helicopter but it's it still is the best mission in the game because i feel like the the rating system or not the rating system but the disguise system in this game is best suited for missions where 47 is actively being hunted and this is exactly that like I said, it, it doesn't really function if you have to infiltrate some, some area and everybody just somehow becomes suspicious of you for seemingly no reason. Whereas in this one, everyone already has a reason to suspect you, but they just don't know where you are. Yep. Despite that, my favorite mission in the game. Never mind the exploding hotel. Oh, and this checkpoint. It, it's... It doesn't have a target and it doesn't have evidence, so it's kind of like a messed up checkpoint where the max rating is something, something reasonably low. <laughs> so I can just get away with just about anything. Okay, now this mission actually gets, gets pretty alright. As we are in the library, which is a fairly basic checkpoint where you just have to get from A to B, but it's uh, reasonably open-ended. Plus, I really like the theme of uh, being uh, on the run from the police. And can I at least pick up the evidence? Thank you. Looks suspicious. Please don't spot me, even though I took a bit longer than usual. Thank you. No. And tip your hat, so nobody becomes suspicious. Excellent. Where are you going? Okay. And the next checkpoint is also a questionable one. No sign of which is, I'm quite sad that it is in this particular mission. <laughs> Kinda sticks out from, like, in the entire game. Doesn't really fit. But you know. I guess they really had to just include a helicopter somewhere in the game. What is convenient though is that this this checkpoint does not have the rating system active. So I can just let the helicopter spot me and shoot me and kill like a million pigeons while it's at it. So a very hit man right there. Almost get spotted there, but if you just uh, activate the instinct towards the end of that run, then he'll be fine. All right, and the second actually good checkpoint in this mission, Shangri-La. There's, there's a couple of different routes you can take here. But I'll obviously take the one that's next to the uh, evidence right here. Thank you. Distraction shot. And now all of these officers by the by the elevator just look look in the direction of the uh, gunshot and let me get to the elevator safely. Where are you going, dude? <laughs> all right. Okay, next up is the final checkpoint in this mission, which is the train station, and the train station is my absolute favorite part of this game. The speedrun might not look like, or might not make it look like very good, but casually, if you play it remotely as intended, it's actually a really good, good piece of uh, social stealth and hiding, hiding in crowds. Probably the, maybe the best one that I have seen in any game. Because the main set piece in this uh, checkpoint is to uh, you have a ton of crowd on a train train platform and you just need to hide among the crowd as as uh, police officers are looking for you. Speedrun doesn't do that, not quite. Hey buddy, where's the fight? Because sadly, moving in the crowd is very slow, as you cannot run in that uh, in the crowd. All right, I barely have enough instinct to get through here. And pick up the evidence. Picking up the evidence gives me more instinct slash mana. Please move away completely. And with that mana, I can get 
away from everyone's sight. Please look away, Mr. SWAT guy. Very stealthy, as usual. Hello, officers. And now that there's a huge panic going on here, I can run freely. But the, uh, the officer AI is still like stuck in the mode where it thinks that there's a ton of crowd here and it takes a long time for them to spot me, which is why I was able to run past that guy right under his nose. So yeah, it's a very good idea, very uh, cool checkpoint, kind of breaks in a speed run. Although I, I still gotta be a bit careful with, uh, with the cops. Because if I run straight at them, then there is a chance that they spot me. Alright, train will arrive in 60 seconds. And for those 60 seconds... Enjoy this. <laughs> Yeah, normally you're, it's supposed to take a long time for you to get from uh, from the stairs all the way here and wait for the train. And you're supposed to just like, as you can see, there's like four cops very close to me right now. But if I'm hiding here, they just can't spot me. I'm busy, busy looking for this criminal. He might be in here. We'll catch him. We'll catch him. <laughs> no, no, not right now, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Only 15 more seconds. And all the cops actually just usually walk away by the time the train comes. So we can do the Hitman Dancer maybe. Hunter and Hunted. This one has one of the most difficult checkpoints in the game, I think. You were right. I very recently, like two days ago, finally came up with a strat that feels consistent. We'll see if it actually is <laughs> in just a moment. This first checkpoint is very standard. A to B, pick up some evidence. First some stealth. Very sneaky. And in order to do like anything in this entire mission, I will need a disguise. Hey. And for that, I think this guy. Can I please drag the body? Thank you. That actually took a long time to pick up the body. I hope that doesn't influence my timing elsewhere. Not sure why that was. Maybe I wasn't like looking in the right direction with the camera. Okay, that guy is in a bit more inconvenient spot than usual, which means I will have... Oh, no! Uh, that was weird. I now have a shotgun. <laughs> All right, sure. I didn't really want it, but I guess I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to pick up the evidence, but the shotgun was right next to it, and it's the same pickup key, so here we are. <laughs> Okay, so this is the difficult checkpoint. It's an uh, assassination-based one. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna need a silenced pistol. Fortunately, this level gives you one fairly conveniently. Normally, this early in the game, you are stuck with like a revolver. All right. So the tar target is right there behind the behind the bar, talking to a guard. And I am not gonna bait him uh, away from there. Instead, I'm just gonna sneak backstage or on stage. Shoot at the wall, shoot at the other wall. Then shoot at the target. And perfect. <laughs> Nobody suspects a thing. 
So the first shots were, were just to distract the guard who he's talking to. And the shot at the other wall was to make sure that um, that guard has enough time to turn around. <laughs> I'm just basically slowing 47 down. All right, that shot on the other end was, should, was to distract this guy. I aimed fairly high up, so he goes upstairs to check out the, check out the noise. And this one prevents anybody from looking in my direction, as I'm not allowed to be in here despite being a cop. All right, I'll have to restart this checkpoint because reasons. Mostly uh, NPC positions uh, change a bit depending on whether you up show up to the checkpoint for the first time or if you reload the checkpoint. And sometimes it's just much easier to use uh, like a checkpoint reset to manipulate the AI to be in more convenient positions. Which is a bit unfortunate because this low screen tends to take a while, even though the checkpoint is very small. Come on now. Please. I would like to have a drink, but I'm worried that it's going to load at the exact moment I take a drink. Fair point. It didn't work. <laughs> there we go. Took a while, but we made it. Alright, this knife I just picked up is for the final bit in this level. Okay, here's a very awkwardly placed evidence. Nice. Don't worry, the second time I load the checkpoint, it won't take as long. There we go. Yeah, that evidence is one of the most awkwardly placed ones in the entire game, I think. You have to be really careful when picking it up and use instinct like right after you get it. Because you can't pick up items while in instinct. Oh, come on. Timing seems a bit different from usual. Not sure if I'm too late or too early. There we go. TV or, uh... Oof. I can't find anything. And our distraction shot over there, so these guys Heard that? look away Not from where I'm about to climb. See what it was. I'm on it. There we go. Okay, convenience store is uh, another very basic uh, evidence-based checkpoint. Oh, please go down the stairs. Thank you. I actually used a bit more instinct in the previous checkpoint that I would have wanted, but yeah, we're still easily fine. Steal some random videotape, which is evidence. They don't know anything and, uh, and just remove the silencer from my pistol for this next bit. This is another checkpoint with no rating system at all, so technically it doesn't matter what I do, but it's just faster, faster to uh, not deal with anybody. Just distract everybody to uh, look away as I pick this lock. Also, Vaihto means shift. I know somebody's wondering. Wow. Okay, this is a fairly precise timing. One and two. There we go. That's two targets down out of three. Then some distraction shots. Yeah, nobody noticed what happened here. It's fine. And here's the third target. And this is why I have the knife. Whoop. Easy every time.
Oh man, a fun favorite, Rosewood. <laughs> So good, the writing here, and the voice Thank acting. You. Came back, just like you said. I was so so scared. And this is why I play Hitman. Were those gunshots? Don't worry. I promised Diana to keep you safe. I know what you've been through. No one will harm you ever again. Good shit. <clears throat> also, hiding in plain sight coming up. Because the story of this mission is that people are shooting up an orphanage. Shh. And some of the people are in the elevator. So I'm gonna have to hide behind these curtains. There we go. I feel hidden right now. No, it's it's just... God, what the heck is that That's Fooled. <laughs> the guy likes his carnage. Okay, another thing they did in addition to shooting up the orphanage is that they broke the elevator by taking out like four fuses and spreading them all around the orphanage for no apparent reason. So I'm gonna have to collect the, collect the fuses and repair the elevator. Because that's the thing that assassins do. Also, you may notice that these guys have uh, proper masks covering their faces. So you wanna guess what happens when I take, the, take, take a disguise from them? Well, fuck. I took the wrong, one, wrong guy. For this one actually took the disguise. <laughs> and now I look like a fool. Not that it matters. Even though I have a full mask like this, people can still spot me uh, and recognize me as, as an assassin. And here's the first fuse. Thank you. Sneaky, sneaky, huh? Hey, how's it hanging, huh? Very sneaky. Thank you very much. Yeah, even with this this mask, I have to avoid detection by hiding in vents. All right. And once again, I'm stuck with an unsilenced pistol because I lo left left the one I had previously behind for seemingly no reason. Okay, gunshot to distract everybody. I would like to get that fuse. Thank you. Uh, please don't fuck me over. Ooh, hi. Timing is a bit off compared to usual because of that thing with the fuse, but I got it. Good. Now this is also extremely stealthy. I like this because the evidence is on the table over there. So I'm gonna sneak, very sneakily. Thanks. Nobody mind. And there we go. Now we can repair the elevator. Okay, this checkpoint is a bit weird because usually you can hit the space bar to skip cutscenes. But for whatever reason, this particular cutscene you have to hit uh, skip with escape. There we go. Come on, you're making a scene, man. Alright. Classic good old tap the shoulder and walk around strat. Um, <laughs> didn't see that. <coughs> Worked first try. I'll just show it again in case anybody missed it. So we're gonna tap this guy on the shoulder and walk around him. There we go. Very smooth. And after these guys, we can just face palm. 
and sneak past. Excellent. Okay, here's a boss fight in a Hitman game. You can actually soft lock the game by going into cover over there before the cutscene takes place. If you do that, then you just cannot get away from the cover. It's very fun. Also, there's some funky, funky stuff you can do here by baiting out uh, enemies before the fight actually starts, and they just turn in invincible. Which is amusing, but sadly not fast, and sadly doesn't beat the mission. Three shots in the head. Yeah, he's still talking. Tough guy. <clears throat> okay, I don't even remember what's next. Oh, did the game crash? Oh, sure it did. Thank you. Excellent. That's the good stuff. It should launch again on its own. Or maybe not. No worries. This is not a new thing. Except, well, to be fair, it doesn't usually crash in that particular section. There is a... I think it's actually the next level where uh, the game very often crashes in the load screen. So I'm not exactly surprised that something like this would happen. Anyway, let's move on. Great balls of fire. Maybe don't crash this time. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay. So here we just have to go and talk to a bartender. And the fastest way to do that is to hit this bar fight switch. I think that might also turn off the truth box or something, but the main thing it does is it causes a bar fight that allows you to uh, get past a lot of guards. But here you have to be careful because if you get too close, Sure. <laughs> if you get too close to any any people having a bar fight, they will attack you. And you you are stuck in this quick time event. And I'm very surprised I actually didn't die there because I'm really, really bad at these quick time events. And the game didn't crash here, that's wonderful. We got the crash out of the way early. But yeah, the quick time events in this game are somewhat random and I'm really really bad at them and I basically never have to do them. So that was a scary moment. Oh hey, uh, back to the rating system thing. This is an evidence-based checkpoint, meaning I have I have to kill... Uh, uh, I mean, I have to pick up the evidence, and I'm not allowed to kill anyone unless I hide their bodies. Except this checkpoint is just completely busted, and it's impossible to get a high rating at all. So I'm, I can just kill that guy, leave his body out in the open, and not get the evidence, and I'll still get the best possible rating. Which in this case, case is like... Veteran, I think? And to my understanding, it's like the... third lowest rating in the game. But hey, you know, I'll take it if that's actually the best thing I can get. Not gonna complain about that, because the evidence is in a really inconvenient position. And it would take a long time to get it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Please don't crash again. Absolution. Don't don't do this to me. <laughs> Steam not responding. This is good. <laughs> no worries. We got this. We were way ahead of schedule, weren't we, right? Right? Yeah, we were. <laughs> were. Excellent. I'll try I'll just try to make sure that we won't be. <laughs> I mean if the game crashes every every two levels then I might still be underestimate. I don't know. My estimate is kind of a guess. <laughs> okay, shaving Lenny. It's this cutscene again. 
is somehow a fan favorite mission. I don't agree with that. I think this mission highlights everything wrong with Absolution's level design because it has two checkpoints that are like inside one another and you can't move, be move uh, between them and it's really awkward. Okay, quick distraction shot over there. There's the first target. Hello, yoink. Okay, then I'll just go to this trespassing zone, take a running step, so this cop comes to investigate. Meanwhile, actually something hap something else happened in the background, which you probably didn't notice, but I, I did. Just those two are my other targets by the pink car, and they started moving before they were supposed to. Not quite sure why that happened, but I cannot allow that to be the case. So let me just try this again. There we go. Now they are still by the car. That's good. That's where I want them to be. Then... Fill this bullet with mana. Blow up the car and they both die. And the cop's outfit so I can freely move on. Oh yeah, yeah, that um, point shooting thing that I showed in the tutorial and like one time after. In addition to allowing you to aim really uh, accurately and uh, like do multiple shots quickly, it also loads up your bullets with mana and that causes cars to explode even if you hit them in the trunk or something. Very handy in situations like that. Okay, in barber shop I I have to kill two targets, and I need to uh, capture one dude, so I'm not allowed to kill him. And a lot of the strats you see for this mission seem to involve blowing shit up and causing massive panic, and I really dislike that, so I came up with something a bit different, which involves uh, a couple of sharp objects. Alright, but first we're gonna become the barber. Because the barber has free access to just about everything. There's the dude we uh, need to hey subdue. Right, Who the hell are you? He's gonna go get a haircut in a second because he saw a barber. I'm gonna leave my screwdriver here for a second and he'll get, get a kitchen knife. Just gonna chill here for a moment. And uh, one of my targets is gonna be by the counter there for a, in a moment. You, you see him really well. It's, this is a, an easy throw. There you go. There. Oh, there. Clean throw. Easy. For the second throw, I actually have good line of sight right here. And then we just go give the dude a haircut. Hello. I, I quite like this route. <laughs> Especially the second throw. I like that in the barber. I, I'm not quite sure how 47 gets this guy from the barber shop to the streets without anybody spotting him, but I guess we'll just buy into it. Are we gonna crash any again? What have we got, Doc? No? Great. That is exactly oh yeah, that's. What she is, sir. I've only played she one level. It's gonna crash in the next one. Right, right. Well, this is a short level. Don't blink. <laughs> that was fun. And no crush, that's good. But this is Dexter Industries, I believe, yes. If anybody at home needs a bathroom break, I would recommend this mission, because this is probably the least interesting one in the game, at least to me. The setting is quite dull, and I didn't get uh, quite what I wanted there. Need to get some running steps in a very specific way to distract a guard to come to my direction. <clears throat> but yeah, this uh, whole mission is kind of dull. Also, again, I, I took one more running step than I should have. Because uh, you can see on the minimap, there are two guys very close to me, and I want one of them to hear my footsteps. And that way the one guy comes in my direction, and it's not working right now. I may just improvise and like have them both react. It's not too big of a deal, but... 
it's also not ideal. I'll give this one more try, and uh, if they both react, then they both react, and I'll see what happens. Well, that didn't work at all. They both react. Great. We'll see what happens. Hello. Right now, that guy's uh, a bit late on his loop. It shouldn't be a big deal. I just don't like the fact that it didn't work that many times in a row. I have to be a bit slower here as a result. So I, would, I need to hide this guy's body, but... Uh, okay, he's already walking away, that's good. Most likely it didn't even matter that they both reacted. I'm just not used to it, so I felt like trying again to make sure everything is everything is good. Anyway, the goal of this mission is just to disable some security systems and then sneak to the next area. There we go. Now both systems are disabled. And I still need to pick up some evidence from over here. And again, I'm going to do the classic shoulder tap. There we go. And one more distraction shot, so this guy goes to investigate that corner. It's very interesting corner. You keep an eye on that. <laughs> Good work, dude. Stop running. Run, but you can't hide. Back in Afghan, bitch. Okay. This evidence is also very inconveniently placed, which is why I have to use a distraction shot like that to be able to pick it up. So I cannot believe none of them were even close to spotting me for that long. Because uh, you don't actually tip your hat even if you're holding the instinct button unless somebody is looking at you. And somehow it took a very long time for anybody to look in my direction. Because any one of them could have spotted me in a second had I not been holding instinct. Excellent. I think this is the longest checkpoint in this mission. So let, let's hope that the camera doesn't break, because sometimes when you get on this ledge... Okay, good. The camera just gets stuck in a position and you can't move it at all, which makes playing the game a bit difficult. Just to distract these guys for long enough so I can get the evidence. Thank you. Let's see what it was. Sure, I'll check. Hang on. Shoulder tap. Okay, I picked up the key card to this door in the previous checkpoint. Actually, there's one in this this checkpoint as well, but uh, the one I got was conveniently placed. Ooh, that was actually close. Everybody's been looking forward. Alright. Oh, right. This section. This is a very absolution moment right here. Because I need to restore power to the elevator so I can get away from this place. But first I need to walk here so the game tells me to restore power. Because if I hit this switch before triggering that prompt, I won't get all the objectives completed and I won't get the max rating. So I have to do this... Uh, jump back and forth running for actually completing the mission. Okay, final area of the, of this mission. This one's fairly, fairly straightforward. Fortunately, there's a lot of uh, stuff on this bridge, so even though there's a bunch of people here, I can just take cover behind random Whoa, stuff rush, for long enough so I, g I don't get spotted and we'll get the max rating easily.
and the only thing left to do is get actually inside the factory, grab some evidence, and call in an elevator. It is fortunate that this game is actually very generous with uh, mana. Grab the evidence right there. Sneak past everybody by tipping the hat, and we should be good. Excellent. Oh, okay. Next mission is Death Factory, which has actually two glitches, which is by this game standards quite a lot. <clears throat> Don't expect anything massive, but I'll it's just say there are actual glitches in this game. It's not just messing with the AI. <clears throat> For the first glitch, I have to give a shout out to Harry Pierce, who discovered the glitch in Vault, but didn't actually test if it's at all useful in a speedrun, which was funny to me because it was a, a very big time save, in fact. Hello. And overall, like, shout out to Harry Pierce and CJ. A lot of the routes I'm using here came from them. Some, some good stuff. All right. So here is the skip. Normally when you hit this elevator button, your movement gets slowed down by a lot, but if you aim while walking, you can actually make it back to this platform. And if you make it to the platform, you can get on the railing. If you get on the railing, you can just jump down. And the elevator, I mean, it takes a long time. And I could just walk, walk while zoomed in like this to move reasonably fast. And save like, I don't know, 20 seconds. Just a fair bit by this game standards. Where have I seen him before? Now, once uh, once you see like an objective marker pop up in the middle of the screen, I can start running again because in this mode, I cannot run, I cannot use items, I cannot pick up objects. I really can't do much besides walk. There we go. Now we can actually move on. Normally, that's the time when you would get out of the elevator. Everyone here hates his guts. Everyone's got a motive. There's a target. Hello. Okay. For exiting this level, I need to use this computer to open a door. Poor guy, he's so confused. Hello. And this guy's just investigating a wall. Good job, keep it up. Unfortunately, he does turn around just as I pass him, so I need to be careful. All right, that was good. I was a bit worried about that checkpoint because uh, if I mess up, then I would have to do the whole elevator thing again. Security clearance upgraded. Yeah, he's allowed into the silo now. Okay, decontamination is a fairly basic uh, evidence-based checkpoint. Although the evidence is in uh, what seems like an annoying spot, right in front of these guys. But if I just uh, use this uh, zoom in trick, I can just pick it up without anybody noticing. And use the computer to unlock the unlock the door to the next area. And the next area is another assassination-based one. Okay, get pretty close to this guy. He's point shooting to get this guy, and immediately switch to instinct so this guy doesn't suspect the thing. Don't mind me. Have a look, okay? 
and then the second glitch in the level. Whoop. That kind of breaks some of the triggers in this level, which is just wonderful. Okay, I'm uh, filling this room with some uh, smoke, which allows me to easily kill the second target. There we go. Okay, what's the bridge? Because I need to use the bridge. Yeah, the glitch over there kind of break this, breaks this. So even though it's right here, I still have to wait for it, which is very disappointing. Also, this never ceases to amuse me, and I assume it's not any not of any interest to anyone else, but whoever placed this sign did not think things through. I can't unsee that. Alright. That's pretty much that mission dealt with. And I believe the next one is a fan favorite. Indeed it is. It's the classic mission for, where 47 uh, <laughs> wrestles a giant, uh, removes his mask, mask mid-fight and uh, kills him in front of a live audience. We're not gonna do that though. We have a much more sneaky strat in mind. But before we can even get to that, we need to complete this first checkpoint. Not even close. <laughs> All right. What the? I'm gonna need a few things in the next checkpoint. First off, I need, I need a disguise. Yeah, okay, I'll see. I need a remote explosive and evidence. As well as a key card so I can actually get to the next level. Hey. But like remote explosives, that's just, that's exactly my type of stealth. Super important cutscene that you we cannot skip. Paying customers here. We're just protecting our investment. But no, don't, don't worry. Uh, Sheriff Skirky's got her in his basement detention, and nobody gets in or out of that place without his permission. Yes, yes, I'll move along. Right after the fight. Okay, so, so remember, next one is an assassination based checkpoint. I'm not allowed to kill non targets. Except, maybe somehow in this checkpoint. I don't know why this works, but I love the fact that it does. So the explosive, it goes somewhere over there. Yeah, you, you guys have fun with that. Silent Assassin. Holy shit, he flew really far. <laughs> don't think he usually flies quite that far. Yeah. That, that is the stealth gameplay I want. Oh, and another classic fan favorite. With all the latex nuns. Again, I'm just resetting a checkpoint to uh, teleport, a fo teleport forward a bit. Saves just a few seconds. And then I'm actually going to reset the checkpoint again, but that time it's to uh, manipulate AI positions. Because there's a lot of small checkpoints right there, early in this mission. Okay, this is quite tricky. Distraction shot over there, so people coming up here are going to be distracted. Then I'm going to run here. Hey. One of them hears my footsteps and should come to investigate. Meanwhile, you can see on the minimap one of them is actually walking away from me. And my target is somewhere in between, confused. There we go. And there's the target. Wait for the other guard to walk by. 
There we go. Very stealthy. You don't suspect a thing. Magic bullet over there. There goes the other target. Hello. Nothing happened here. Don't mind the unconscious guy with no clothes. Oh, whoa. What are you guys doing? Please get away from me. I'm out of instinct. This is actually scary. Uh, please look away. Thanks. Please don't turn around. Don't turn. Fuck. <laughs> that was very unfortunate. Can't say I've ever failed a mission like that. A lot of things can go wrong in this one, but that was new. Usually this is the difficult section. Problem is that this time those two guys just decide to run up here for some reason. Just not usual at all. No matter, we'll just try again. Wait for the guard. If the guard sees me sees the bullet land, he actually spots me even though he can't see me. And this time she didn't die to the explosion. Very unfortunate. That's basically just luck whether that happens or not. It's pretty rare. It seems to be the theme in this mission right now. What the? Bunch of unusual stuff going on. Wait, 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 wait. This is very unusual and very much not what I wanted. What? Attack of the Saints, please. What are you doing? Okay, I ran too early, so a guy downstairs actually heard my footsteps and was about to come and inv investigate, which is what I really don't want. Okay. One guard up here, another one, another, one, another one somewhere else, and the target, please take your time. Can we have that? Thank you. Come on. Hello. There we go. That's how it's supposed to go. Now let's hope that the rest goes well too. Yeah, nobody's running. Thank you. That's what I want. Sadly, I have to use all my instinct already. Please don't look this way. Thankfully, there's nobody here, so we should be good. That was interesting. Alright, finally, we made it. We made it. It wasn't quite as easy as it should have been, but still easier than it used to be, because I really, really dislike that checkpoint. So, hello. What do you mean, no... Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> I love this guy. It's just... hey. Same shit, different day. Okay. The second target is uh, also not very smart. Sir, stop that now. I make some noise over there, and for some reason, these two dudes just don't care. Meanwhile, the target actually walks right where the distraction took place and allows me to do this. Don't mind me, and don't look behind you. Okay, this door can be a bit of a pain in the ass to open because these two guys are kind of in the way, but the bottle should distract him for long enough. There we go, that's good. Okay, another magic bullet. Knife for a later kill. Hello, somebody actually spotted me there. 
All right, well, another magic bullet in that case. I think there was someone on the field who spotted me. It shouldn't happen because you can actually hide hide in the corn if you just uh, walk while crouched. And it usually takes a long time for them to get, come even close to spotting you. Either way, we're good now. There's the second target. Let us bring you in and Travis will cut you a deal. Hello. And one more. This one is actually a decently precise shot. Nothing to see here. There we go. Not the best attack of the Saints ever, but it will do. Could have been much worse. What's next? Skurkis Law? I think it's Skurkis Law. Yes. Alright, so this is kind of a basic mission overall. Just a bunch of... Actually, it's not just a bunch of evidence-based checkpoints. There is one checkpoint with uh, no rating at all. This is stealth right here. What the hell? Hello? Anybody? Thank you. I'm really glad that they keep the evidence close to the door because otherwise it would be really difficult to get. There's no charge on the CD. Just face pulling my way through. Don't mind me. Please walk away. Thank you. Okay, there's some really funky strats for this level where you just throw a whole bunch of items as distractions and uh, walk through the front door to get to this area. But boy, do I not want to do that. It's barely even faster than just using that uh, that vent over there. Because that door is really well guarded. Okay, this segment, <coughs> or checkpoint, does not have a rating system, so we're gonna be stealthy. Hi, guys. I'm not quite sure why this is even a checkpoint. Because that's actually everything. <laughs> Maybe it's like, in case you want to have a disguise, you can get one from that checkpoint. But it's really kind of redundant, because uh, the disguise I have right now isn't actually allowed in this checkpoint. Except it kind of is, because so uh, while you can see the, next to my minimap, there's that uh, icon indicating that I am not allowed to be here. I still kind of am, because instinct works, and I can just facepalm my way through. But people react very quickly if they see me. So even, even when I use instinct right here, you, you can see that the meter is spiking. But somehow nobody spots me. Alright. Oh, another very well placed evidence right there. Just want this VHS. Thank you. See ya. And on this section, you just cannot run for whatever reason. I guess I wouldn't even want to run here because uh, I'm not allowed to be here, so I would make a lot of noise. And most likely get spotted while up there. Okay. Oh, what's next? Operation Sledgehammer. Now, that's a mission that for some reason everybody seems to hate. I even back when this game first came out, I didn't get why people disliked this mission so much. 
and these days even less now that I I've learned to appreciate this game as uh, hide from the cop simulator because this is another another one where you are semi actively being hunted and the disguise system actually works reasonably well in that context The beginning is very boring, though, because you just have to hit the fire alarm and wait for somebody to open the door for you. Yoink. Nice tie. Although, I, I guess I do like how you sneak through the police station. There is, there is some style in that. You'll see soon. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do. Thought I was just nope, sorry. Nope, nope. He looked very happy. Probably had a session. Nothing to see here. <laughs> All right. S stealth man, right here. Every year, Merle. Uh, Every year at the Hope Fair, we have to haul your shrunken ass. <laughs> Nothing suspicious to see here. Just, uh... Hey, so who's the mystery guy? And then I just need to get my guns and get out of here. Those are Dexter Okay, so my standard police officer outfit will not do anymore. I need to join. Oh, oh. Join these elite forces. Man, I hear footsteps. Is there anyone in my area I should know about? Yes, there is someone check in the area. Please check it out. Thank you. For some reason, the AI on some part, parts of this checkpoint are kind of slow to react, which is very convenient. Sadly, this guy is not one of them, and he's in a really bad position. So I actually have to use a bit of instinct. But like these guys, they just don't seem to give a crap. Most NPCs from that distance would definitely spot you, but these guys just don't care. Okay, burn. This is... Actually, one of my favorite checkpoints in the game. Because it makes decent use of a nice gimmick of smoke. Where, well, you've seen smoke before, actually, in a couple of checkpoints. But in this one, people are actively looking for you, but you you can hide in the smoke. And I think it actually makes for a pretty pretty fun checkpoint, even if it's fairly simple and short. It's a good, decent use of the gimmick. Even though I mostly just end up using instinct instead. Hi guys. I don't actually have a walkie-talkie, but you know, let's pretend I do. Don't see me. Thank you. And that's that. Final. No, oh, I guess it's technically not the final. Or is it? I don't even know if the very, very final bit of this level counts as a checkpoint. It probably doesn't. But the Hope Fair that's coming up next. Um, also, it seems like it kind of tries to use a crowd mechanic like Train Station did, except that the crowd is already panicking, so it really just doesn't work. It's kind of interesting, but not really. But fortunately, in a speedrun, we do have something that makes it stand out a bit more, which is this. Take cover, change cover. Whoops, hello. That's not what I wanted. So I end up going out of bounds by changing cover there, but uh, getting out of that cover while I'm out of bounds is a bit tricky, since just uh, trying to move over there really easily pushes you back inbounds. So I have to be like, a 
carefully hold our direction and move the camera and hope that 47 just uh, nudges himself completely out of bounds. Oh, please. It's not that difficult, though. Fortunately, it's pretty early in the checkpoint. I mean, not the checkpoint is long anyway, once you get it. Because you can just bypass most of the enemies. You still have to do a bit of, like... I suppose you can call it backtracking to pick up the evidence, but it's uh, not too big of a deal. No, it just isn't actually letting me stay out of bounds. This is very awkward. I think I'll have to try some other setup to stay there. I previously previously had much success by just holding the holding down uh, like left, and then doing this mo mo motion with the mouse, and then Fortisven gets off cover and stays out of bounds. But it doesn't seem to be the case right now. So let's try something a bit different. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, and I couldn't even try again. It's a shame that you can only really try it once per attempt because uh, that one enemy is walking straight towards you and he will spot you if you if you are still in bounds. I would really like to get this because I haven't done this normally in bounds in a very very long time, so I don't actually know at all where any of the guards are. <laughs> So I don't know how well it would go if I tried to do this normally. There we go. Finally. That took longer than it should have. But we made it. It's beautiful scenery. And it doesn't actually even skip all that much. I'm just gonna go back and budge through this door. Hello. But conveniently I'm behind absolutely all of the enemies. Evidence. The car alarm is really convenient for making that guy turn around without seeing anything. Quite like that. Also, pay attention to my outfit right now, so I break to break through this door. Like, come on! <laughs> Couldn't you like let me keep the disguise I was wearing? You know, just because I can. One magic bullet. No one inside the church actually cares. As soon as I enter, uh, we go into this mode. I think he's dead. No, still talking. <sighs> One of a kind. This, I'm very glad this is a mission. It really needed to be a mission. <laughs> And, and I'm very glad it's a mission where you can't actually run. <laughs> Makes it very, very immersive. Please step inside, 47. It's quite an improvement. Very good. And that was basically the entire mission. Handcrafted war. Reinforced seams. Invisible. Good stuff. Okay, Blackwater Park. This is like one of the most difficult missions in the game, in my opinion. So let's hope this one goes all right. Oh boy, it suddenly got noisy in here. <clears throat> all right. First thing to do, I'm going to distract that guard right in front of me. He's not going to suspect a thing. Because how could he? Huh? Yeah, I wonder what that was. Uh, dispatch? Yeah, some jokers tossing things here. Checking on you. Yeah, I wonder who it could have been. Ah, uh, yeah, just let a plumber through. Papers were in order. Right, this first checkpoint is evidence-based, so I do need to take a bit of a detour to pick up the evidence. It's really far out of the way compared to where you are actually going. 
Also, it's really nice that they actually give you a remote explosive in this mission. It's, it wouldn't be useful in most missions, but in this one it's like absolutely irreplaceable. Alright, so the evidence is in the, in the guard room over here. There's two guards in the room, but I can just uh, zoom in, take the VHS, and we're good. And while actually inside, I need to use an elevator to get, get up to the penthouse. And to get there, or to use the elevator to begin with, I need to first disable a computer that has the elevator locked. And actually using the computer is very difficult, there's, there's a lot of guards in that room. But fortunately, we have the remote explosive, so we can just blow the whole thing to pieces. Hey, buddy, what's the rush? All right. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Something's different. This is not, this is not right. Uh, I guess I'll roll with this. No, I don't. Because nobody was where they were supposed to be. That was very unusual. I was waiting for a, a guard to be like directly in front of me, so I, I, was, I would have to stop at the doorway. But when he wasn't there, I got very confused. And then turned out that the people inside the guard's room also weren't where they were supposed to be. And that's a very bad sign because I'm, a, I'm about to blow up the entire room. <laughs> no, technically not the entire room, I'll just blow up the hallway next to it, but if anyone's inside the room, close to that wall, they'll also get hit. And I don't want that because I am not allowed to kill non-targets unless I hide their bodies, and I have no intention of actually going into the room and dragging their bodies to any safe locations. I'd much rather just stay completely out of it and blow up the computer through the, through the wall. Let's give that another try. Actually, I actually can't think of it. It may, it may have just been a case of uh, starting the mission from a fresh, uh, fresh load as opposed to rest restarting a checkpoint. So I feel like usually when I'm routing this, uh, I do practice from a checkpoint, and that time I went straight from uh, the level load. I don't think it makes a difference in this level, but I could just be wrong on that. Either way, we'll see how, how it lines up this time. Yeah, this time there's a guard over there. That's good. That's what I wanted to see. I have to wait for him to walk away, and then everyone else should be lined up as well. Okay, so place the explosive around there. That seems good. <laughs> Nothing to see there. Let's do it. Please leave. Thank you. I need need the new outfit because my current one is very very suspicious in that, this area. There are lots of cops in this area, and I I don't want to be spotted by any of them. Meanwhile, there's only two. I don't even know what this thing is. There's only two of these guys. Dispatch. Oops. Some, uh, Shit happens. All right, now I just have to wait for the elevator to come down here so I can get in it. Just love that camera. It's so so smoothly animated. The distraction. Mr. Dexter, he shot out the camera in the elevator. Coming our way. Yes, sir, Ray. Come on, you know, this cutscene is skippable. Burden, but I'm willing to take it on, I'll tell you. I swear it is skippable, but not today. <laughs> it's not loading. <laughs> There's a, there would be a loading icon in the bottom left corner. <laughs> Somehow, that's just one of those cutscenes that will not let you proceed. There's a couple of those in the game. All right, so I just rerouted this yesterday because I really dislike this checkpoint. I've tried a million different things and every time something goes wrong 
and ne nothing is ever consistent, and I change the route every time I play. And so that guy is very observant up there. If only the depth of field, field uh, whatever effect wasn't blocking, but he was looking straight at me and didn't see a thing. That's excellent. But yeah, uh, I tried to use like uh, thrown melee weapons and distractions and uh, all sorts of really stealthy stuff and tried to be clever about this and nothing ever worked. Then I discovered this thing. I think this is my weapon of choice for any stealthy playthrough. Looks very good. I like it. So the target is going to be, well, see, it's right there. And if all goes according to plan... Excellent! Silent Assassin! <laughs> That is, this is actually a really slow strat, but I, I just love the fact that I can what? shotgun her in the face and get away with that. Yeah. Yeah, the, the idea there is that uh, if anybody sees the bullet land on the target, then uh, they also spot you, because that's how absolution works. It's not, not smart, but you just gotta deal with it. But by shooting at the walls first, everybody was looking straight towards me, but I was still far enough away that they couldn't technically see me. And uh, I was able to, at the end, just shoot the target who was behind everyone else. And no one noticed that she died until like a second later, which was good enough for me to get away with it. Oh, this one also has a great kill. I really like this one. <laughs> So yeah, you're not supposed to be able to see a damn thing here. Sir. Okay, move it, people. You heard the man. The clock is ticking. Please, cute guy. Too cute. Almost. Yo, you're not supposed to be looking at me, dude. Ooh, he somehow didn't spot me. That's good. That's very scary, but that's good. All right, I need some more instinct, so I'm gonna look at this bomb to regain instinct. Excellent. And, uh, and use that instinct to get through here. Stealth man, just stealth things. All right, and this is one of the best kills ever. I'm gonna shoot a couple of mines, and my target is over there on that helipad. Oh, something blew up, that's fine. There he is. He's not very smart. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, he's still on the helipad in this cutscene. I don't know. Yeah, couldn't see him because the game loaded too fast. Okay, final mission of the game. Good luck, 47. All right. All civilians have been escorted from the premises. We have the place to ourselves. Travis, is the line secure? Go ahead. This is like one of my least favorite checkpoints. Just. Site. Very little of interest going on here, except you know the way I get the disguise over here. I I, I guess that's kind of cute. This guy goes to take a piss on a on a grave. Body hidden. Excellent. We've underestimated 47 more than once. No, I don't buy it. Sternwood is more than capable of. All right, I'll I'll take this pretty safe and uh, slow, because this checkpoint is absolute ass. Please move along. Don't mind me. Don't look at me. I took a. I ran a bit further than I was supposed to, so now they're. Okay, they're already walking away. At least one of them is. Oh no, he's not walking away. Ah, panic, panic, panic. I need all of you to get out of here right now. Nobody see this, please. Excellent. Thank you. Whew, that was close. Okay, in this mission, they actually do give you a sniper rifle. 
But the problem with Absolution is that in order to kill someone, you first have to discover them. And if I snipe the target from a long distance, I won't discover them and it says known target killed. So I actually have to get reasonably close to the target before there's any point in even trying to snipe her. Now just wait for a couple of guys to walk by before I can pull the trigger. There we go. Alright. Okay. One more checkpoint. And final checkpoint of the final mission, so we do one final checkpoint reset to make sure that all the targets are in the right position. There's only three NPC in NPCs in this level and they are all my targets. And there's a pretty neat strat to this, you can, uh, this is like a minefield, but if you trigger this explosion, all of the targets stop in really nice positions like this. Hello. And, oh, hello. And the third one should be walking right there, there, in just a second. Except he's actually investigating the body of this guy. So, hello. This works too. Oh, never mind. No, it doesn't. I'm good at this game, by the way. <laughs> Could you stop? Thank you. <laughs> all right. No more enemies left. All I gotta do is not step into an explosion. Except this one. But that's fine. All right, you're gonna be ready with the timer, because time is coming up very soon. Except I'm using the timer. Oh my god, this new marathon technology. <laughs> Okay, so the time ends when uh, th this thing explodes. There we go. And that was Hitman Absolution. Went decently well. Attack of the Saints was a bit of a pain, but... I suppose that was to be expected. Not everything was gonna go go perfectly according to plan. But most things did, including some of the more difficult checkpoints, so I'm happy with that. She was made to be a killer! Also, like shoutouts to uh, Travis. Not this Travis, but the Travis from IO Interactive. He told me to think of him when I kill this Travis. So you have that. <laughs> did you kill her? <laughs> Diana. I would now like to kill him, if possible. <laughs> she really did. You will never know. Thank you. Wow, that freeze frame. <laughs> and that's that. Hope you enjoyed Hitman Absolution. It was actually a pretty fun speedrun. <clears throat> the game may be divisive on whether it's a good game or not. I think I actually think it's a good game. It's a, it's a damn shame it has Hitman in the title, though. But as just a typical stealth game, it's actually fun, and the speedrun is surprisingly fun too. So yeah, that's all for me. We can move on now, whenever you're ready over there in tech. Thanks for watching, and stick around. <laughs>